Hello, hello, welcome to Pure Light Awakening. This is Nina and I'm here to do your July energy update. I hope you're all doing well and that you have maneuvered June <laughs> to the best of your ability. It has been a very strong month. It has been a lot going on and I know especially around uh, summer solstice that it was quite powerful for many people. So you have my sympathy if you were feeling it too because I sure was. So if you're new to the channel, welcome so much. Thank you so much for being here. We meet up at least every month, sometimes a little bit more often, and we talk about the energies, the overall energies. And I sit down and I communicate, I open up, and then we see who wants to come in and talk to us. I am a channeler, a psychic medium, a healer, and a teacher as well. Or I used to be, not so much anymore, but maybe sometime again in the future. But anyways... I want to address something first before we start today. I wanted to do this video a little bit sooner, but we have had uh, quite a severe incident here in Oslo, Norway, where I live. We are not very used to uh, gun violence here, but uh, this past week weekend we had a shooting in Oslo where that killed two people and injured 21. So um, it has been very emotional for us this past few days over here, so I just needed to integrate those kind of feelings and kind of feel that through before I came on and did this video for July. So that's why it's coming out a little bit later than I would prefer. But there you have it. So anyways, let's get into it. Um, I have felt this past month very strong energies, as I said. It's been knocking me out. It's been making me feel very nauseous, very dizzy a very tired, very heavy in the physical form. And for me, it has been very much about very high potent energies coming to the planet that is open for us who have chosen to awaken and have chosen to agree on these energies coming into our physical form at this time. Not everyone has agreed to take it all in. Uh, we as light beings have chosen, or light workers rather, have chosen to, to do that in this lifetime. But not everybody has. But that doesn't mean that they don't feel it. They just feel it on another level. They feel it in, a, in another way. Uh, but for us who are open, we feel it very much as high frequent energy uh, rattling the system a little bit. So that's kind of what's been going on in June um, for a lot of people. Now, for July... I was shown that there is uh, energies kind of coming from different sides of the planet. Uh, it's one coming from the sun or through the sun, and then it's one coming from the other side, from dark space, kind of. And it's it's both hitting the planet at the same time. So it's, it's a lot of strong and potent energies coming. I couldn't tell you what sources they're coming from. I haven't been shown that, so I really don't know. Um... If it's just a cosmic radiance that is kind of tumbling around in space and that's hitting us, or if it's coming from a direct source, I'm not sure. They haven't told me. So that's kind of the only thing I can share about that, okay? What will happen, though, is that it will feel like we have been feeling in June. It will feel uh, dizzy, you know. Uh, it will feel like you're being knocked to the side, maybe. It will feel like you're being knocked down. Uh, it might feel like you're nauseous. Uh, it might stir up some anxiety and anger. Now, they also told me that July is going to be a lot about anger. It's going to be a lot of heat. It's going to be a lot of heat in general for those sides of the planet who are towards the sun right now. Um, and it's going to be both weather kind of heat and also the heat as in anger that stirs that comes up to the surface and a lot of things that may have may not have been seen so far that has been pushed away or pushed down or put a lid on it's kind of going to the lid is kind of going to blow off and it's going to come to the surface so this year has been very much about things coming to the surface things being rattled up and us feeling things through and healing healing is a big thing but also um, standing up for the individual, very much about uh, us standing in our own power and speaking up about how we want things to be here on this planet uh, in, in many different forms, right? So, so this will continue. 
And, and for me, and what they're showing me is that July will kind of be a heated month for some reason. They're, they keep telling me the word, the word heated. Heated and, and heat and anger is coming up. So, so just a heads up on that. Um, I will, I will, that was kind of the information that I got earlier. But I'm going to show, uh, close my eyes now and just see if there's somebody here who wants to communicate and who has some more information for us. So bear with me just a moment. Okay, so I'm feeling this massive energy behind me, and it's it's really big. Um, and and they they said several things. Now I I heard um, both Metatron and Michael. That's the energies uh, that we call Metatron and Michael. By the way, it's not like that's their name originally. Uh, they are just a vibrational signature. Everything in light form is. Uh, but the the energy that we are, the energy of protection, which we call Michael, and the energy of uh, the overall angel energy, the strong overall en uh, energy of um, uh, all the angels, which is Metatron for me, uh, is very much present. Uh, so, so those energies are energies I feel like are going to be more present in our lives now in the month of July or energies that you can call upon. Now I also hear that angel, uh, angel energies, um, they are just light beings, but we call them angels because they have a specific vibrational signature that co, uh, you know, um, what do you what do you call it? Coexides is that the word? Uh, with with certain different aspects. Okay, like I said, that Michael is protection and strength. Uh, Gabriel uh, is communication, Raphael is, is healing. Uh, so it's just the vibrational frequency of healing uh, with that vibrational signature, but we have chosen to given given that signature the name Raphael, just so you understand that it's not like they have those names to begin with, it's just names that we've given to them. But that's the only way I can explain, explain easily those uh, different vibrations is to use those names and that's why I use the angel names that we have given them, okay? So that, and that's why also they are using the word angels. Uh, but in fact, they are just light beings. But anyways, uh, so they're saying that those light beings, those energies are very near and very present. And I f I'm feeling them behind me, okay? Like a big massive group together, like a big white light together. And, and they are saying to call upon them. Uh, the, these different light beings and different energies that we need when we need it. Uh, we are, we are. They say that we are not so good at asking for help. We are not so good at um, opening up for them to come in and uh, set things in motion for us. Uh, we are very much being taught, of course, uh, conditioned from, from childhood that we're supposed to take care of things ourselves. We're supposed to fix things. You're supposed to be on the ball. You're supposed to do, you know, be take action on things. But we haven't been taught to just kind of sit back and let God, right? You know, uh, just let go and let God kind of. So, so what they're saying is that can we step back a little bit and ask for them and, or allow them to come in and put things in motion for us more than trying to fix things on our own, okay? Um, so, so that's an invitation from them uh, to you. Okay, let's see what else they have to say. Okay. 
Erica. Hmm. They're showing me, for some reason, they're showing me Antarctica, the South Pole. Something, I don't know if there's a meteor that hit there or is going to hit there, or there's something about, there's something, I, I see kind of a spot or something on the ice, or there's, you know, it's supposed to be all white, but there's a, there's a spot there, or there's a dark spot or something. So I don't know if it's been hit by something or if there's something that's coming up from from because of the ice is melting. There's something going on there. So they just showed me a picture of the, that that area, and then all of a sudden there's kind of a darker spot there. So I really don't understand uh, what that is. Yeah, they're not really giving me any more information regarding that, but they just showed me that. So uh, my job is just to share what they show me. So. Yeah. Okay, so they're showing me uh, books and pens. So for me, and, and they're not written books, they're, they're empty. So for me, that, of course, is an invitation for journaling. There is something about, um, yeah, okay, now I get it, thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, just needed some more explanation. So what they're saying is that, as I explained earlier also, that the veil is very thin right now. I explained that you can just kind of reach out with your arm and you can feel them there. And you can physically feel it when you just hold out your arm and just invite them to be there. And so the, the, the veil is very thin. There is almost no veil at all. And so what they're saying is that this is the time for you to get information, okay? Because the veil is so thin, because it's easier access kind of to their knowledge right now. So that's why they're showing me all these journals and pens, because what they want us to do is sit down in meditation and write down what we get, okay? Because they have so much information to give us that can help us. So, But we all have individual journeys. So, you know, this video is about the general energies that might infect all of us. But there is other kinds of energies that might affect you as an individual. And I can't address all of those individuals uh, that's watching in, in each individual energy. So that's something you need to do yourself. And so what they're saying is that if you are willing and open and sit down in meditation and invite them to give you the answers you need right now, the veil is so thin that you most likely very easily will get some answers, okay? But you need to breathe, you need to uh, ground, you need to meditate and get in connection, open up and invite them in, right? And, and see if you can silence the ego so it doesn't come in the way for the real messages coming into you. But they're saying that they're really present and they really want to convey these messages to you. And also be open for signs around you. There might be numbers coming your way. There might be coins and burns and feathers and you know the drill. You know, all these kind of stuff. Uh, Heart-shaped uh, heart stones on the ground. You know, all of these things that you all of a sudden just stumble across. And those are also messages. If you have, if you have trouble meditating, getting messages like that, then ask them. A question and ask them to show you a sign for instance if the answer is yes right so do it that way then and then if you stumble across four hearts on your way when you do your walk this evening then there's your answer right but they're, they're telling us to be more community uh, communicative with them and open up for more information coming straight to each and every one of us and if you are someone who, who knows how to con communicate quite easily and get information and write down a journal, they are also saying, please share. Please share the information you get, okay? Um, it's very pivotal for us, you know, to tip the scales when it's coming to all these energies that are around the planet right now, all these angry energies that's coming up, all this darkness that's coming to the surface. Instead of us going into uh, giving our energy 
to those dark energies, it's more important for us to stay in the light frequency, stay in the light. And for us to do that, we need to be in communication with our higher self and with, with spirit. And so they're asking us to align and be in connection with spirit as much as possible and share with other people. You can share in the way like I'm doing now or, you know, you can share with a friend or you can write something down in, in a group or whatever. Uh, but also sharing is sitting in your power, allowing yourself to kind of be like a star where you have that huge light within you and you expand it, you allow it to grow. You actually don't have to do anything. They will do that for you. But when you allow that energy and that light to expand, it will beam out to everything around you, okay? So that's also a way to share. So I feel like they have been trying very hard to reach us and to say that now and to ask us to share, share, share. And so that more people will wake up to, to this information and, and to the light, okay? So that's also very important. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, they're, they're doing it to me again. <laughs> yeah, I, f I feel uh, like it, there is someone doing this to me and they're just kind of pulling my hair up like that. And I've been feeling that a lot lately. I've been sitting in the kitchen and I've been trying to paint and stuff like that. And all of a sudden I kind of feel a presence behind me to the point where I have to turn around so somebody's standing behind me. And also that feeling where you get almost pulled here. So I don't know if any of you have experienced that lately, but don't be surprised if you do, <laughs> or else they wouldn't have given me this information. Uh, I'm feeling it right now even, and I, I feel like they're, what they're trying to do is that they're adjusting your connection to spirit, okay? So, I mean, this is your connection upwards, and you also, of course, have connection throughout your entire physical form, through your chakras and, and through your feet and everything. But this is kind of the main channel when you want to channel information. Uh, or you work as a medium or or stuff like that. So, um, so they're 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 working on that part of us. They're enhancing that part of us is what I'm hearing. So don't be surprised if you feel like a tingling on the head or that you feel some sort of presence behind you or around you right now. Then it's them working on your energy field. Okay. 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 Well, I don't know when that is. Uh, I'm not an astrologer, uh, astrologer, so I really don't know that much about um, planets and um, eclipses and stuff. But they're showing me, because they, they started with showing me just a ring. And I asked them, what is the ring? And then they showed me uh, the moon. Um, and then, uh, the sun. And so, and then I said, is it an eclipse? And they said, yes. So it's, a, and there's something that's going to happen around that eclipse. So the next eclipse that we are going to have that will cause that ring, uh, I guess when it's the moon that go, going in between the planet and the sun, so that the sun will only kind of be a ring, uh, something is going to happen there, um, Around that time is what they're saying. It's not exactly maybe on the day, but maybe for many, but it's around that time that they're saying that something, is, they're working on something now up until that point. So something is happening, I feel, between the summer solstice now and up until that eclipse, which I am sorry to say, if you give me just a second, <laughs> I will look it up on my phone, okay, to see if I can see when that eclipse will be. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, of course, uh, I'm so sorry about this. 
There you go. There was one tenth of June, they say here, but of course that has been. Now let's see what the next one is going to be. Um, yeah, it doesn't say on that site. I'm so sorry, I should have had looked at this, but I didn't know that they were going to... Ah, the 25th of October 2022. At least here in Norway. Um... Let's see, the whole world, here it is. I'm so sorry about this, people, but I didn't know they were going to show me this. So I didn't I prepare this, of course. Uh, the 30th of April, 15th to 16th of May, 25th of October. But they say partially, um, so maybe it's not this year then. Let's see. Mono for Mercury, so total. I'm sorry, I'm speaking Norwegian now. <laughs> I'm on, on a Norwegian. Uh, okay, so there's a partial... There's a partial one on the 25th of October, but it looks almost almost to the point where there's a ring. Uh, there, total. Let's see. Uh, October. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry about this. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. But there is one, the 25th of October, and it's almost a total one. Uh, now they say, okay, so the, to the next total one is the 20. Uh, 20th of April 2023 okay so either I felt also something around October or around fall so there might be the one that's the 25th of October but the the next total one is the 20th of April 2023 okay so up until then at least at least up until October maybe all the way up until April they're going to work on this I'm sorry going to work on this um, enhancement um, within our physical forms, uh, fr and I think it started this this uh, summer solstice. I know it's been kind of a runner up this past few months before that, because of course it spreads out. It's not just one date, uh, but around that time now, uh, these past few months, uh, and of course now with the summer solstice, it has started, and they are enhancing our communication system our energy system and our communication with them. The veil is getting thinner. It's going to be more present. It's going to feel more on the physical form. So so be prepared for upgrades on your chakra system, for a Kundalini awakening, for massive energy shifts in your physical form and around you. And that will, of course, rattle up. If you still have some trauma, if you still have some anxiety, if you still have some sorrow or something that needs to be felt through, it will come up. And you cannot escape it. You have to be brave enough to feel it through, okay? Uh, be brave enough to feel it through. Uh, ask for help. Ask, ask for help from a therapist or, or a spiritual person if you need help to hold your hand through it so that you can feel that through and, and you open up for more high potent energy to come in instead. Okay, so that's also very important that we continue doing this healing work um, in the future now, moving forward. So so this was not just about July again. And and I, I see that happening more and more now from them is that they, they give me things that is not just, you know, regarding the next month, but regarding kind of more wider specter if you will uh and that's i just have to con convey what i get okay so let me just ask one last time if there's something more they want to convey before i shut down this video today okay so they're showing me a person sitting on a beach um, actually meditating, like holding their hands out and closing their eyes and just listening to the waves and listening to the seagulls, you know. And of course, it might it might be you. You know, maybe you're you're there now when you're listening to this video. Who knows? Uh, but what what they're doing is they're asking us to uh, really log off because as much as we need to participate in whatever is going on in the world, we also need to step back. We also need to log off. We also need to be in silence. And so they're saying that you need to find that balance where how much you're, you are participating and how much you're stepping back and uh, and kind of logging off and getting in. Uh, and so I feel like they're very much inviting us to 
go out in stillness outside in nature by the beach in the woods on a mountain you know uh, wherever it is that you feel comfortable but of course it's very soothing to listen to water okay if it's a river or a little uh, pond uh, where there's some rattling water or if you have a little fountain out in your garden um, sit by the ocean wherever where there's water it's very soothing um, and it's also helping the emotional system. Water is very much about the emotional system. And also just listening to nature, listening to the trees, listening to the birds, you know, being present and feeling that oneness with nature. And that's also something you can do, uh, which is fun, is just to go around feeling the energies of nature, uh, feeling the difference between an old tree and a young tree, between the flowers and a bird, between... Um, you know, the energies of stone versus the energies of water, for instance, you know, just feel the energies and play with the energies, play with it. Um, so that's also something I feel like they're inviting us to do. Okay, is there something else, Barry? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Um, okay. So they're, they're, they're showing me this high potent energy again and they are, an, um, yeah, because what happens, what happens when, when this high potent energy hits us is that the physical form might automatically try to push up because it's so frightening and it's kind of pushing you down and the body will try and hold itself up you know, and then you're kind of pushing against it and it becomes more heavy and you will be more nauseous and more dizzy and feel more out of whack because you're kind of working against it. So what they're saying is that when this energy hits you, it's going to feel very potent and it might be frightening, okay, because it's so strong. So what they're saying is that you have to surrender. You have to lie down and just say, okay, I surrender. I'm not going to fight it. I'm just going to accept it. Okay. So, so that's for those of you who are feeling a lot of dizziness. I mean, I do it myself, you know, I'm automatically, I'm <laughs> being, I'm going through some stuff in my life that has made me be a little bit of a watchdog. Okay. So I push up very easily, got problems with my neck and my, um, my shoulders because it just pushes up all the time. But what it does is that it's pushing against the energies who wants to come in. And so I have to learn, I have to teach myself on how to relax, relax, relax and, and breathe, you know, finding your breath and just sinking down and just allowing your body to be heavy. Okay. So, so that's something I experienced myself and I know that it can be really difficult to let go and to surrender 100%, but that's kind of what they're asking you to do now. Okay. Because these energies are going to knock you out. It's going to be very frequent, uh, high frequent, uh, energy. Uh, and so it's going to feel quite heavy on the physical form so that is something they just wanted me to convey as well so i feel like that was it um i might do uh, more videos in july i don't know um i am considering starting a halfway videos so half month videos but i don't know if you guys are interested in that let me know if you feel like that's something you would like to see uh, if not, then I'll just stick to the monthly thing and then maybe once in a while uh, if I feel like I have something to share that I will share. But if you're interested in kind of uh, around the 14, 15, 16th of each month that we do kind of a halfway video as well, then let me know and I'll try and, and make that happen, okay? If you have any questions, then feel free to comment in the comment section below. I read all your messages and I try to answer all of them. Uh, I'm also over on Instagram, Pure Light Awakening, uh, so I can ask their questions there. And you can, if there is something that you need to, some answers to or you have some questions, you can, of course, message me there as well. So that was all I had to say for July. I wish you a pleasant month <laughs> with all these fun energies coming our way. Uh, it's going to feel a little bit heavy, but, I, you know, it is all about the healing. It is all about and uh, the 
awakening process and kind of taking it up a notch. So it's also very exciting, even though it's going to feel a bit heavy on the physical, but that's just the way it is. This too shall pass, you know, okay? So you have my love. Thank you so much for being part of this video today. Until the next time I see you. Bye.